Hey, it's Dr. Karen Can. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. Today, I want to talk to you about bleed through symptoms from your alternate timelines. So it can be pretty confusing talking about multiverse and multiple timelines and timeline convergence. So my attempt today is to simplify it as much as I can. I mean, sometimes there's no language around these things. So I'm going to do the best I can to describe it from my current beliefs and perceptions, what I was told by source. And then, you know, later on, there may be refinements or even corrections of what I'm going to say today. Uh, so just keep that in mind and filter it through your own consciousness and just to make sure that um, that it resonates with you. So there were times where I didn't believe what I was hearing from source, from God. And one of these times was a number of years ago that uh, in a, a very short period of time, I think within a week or two, two max, that three people that I knew became suddenly very ill or um, sick. We weren't expecting that from these folks and two of them were uh, relatively young patients of mine. Um, and one was an older woman who was not a patient of mine, but uh, a friend. And um, the interesting thing was when I went to tune in for each of them as to why they got the illness they got, okay, I got the same answer. The answer was their timelines had converged and they did not converge properly or appropriately. Sounds weird. I'll get back to like why we're doing this at all, right? So unfortunately, my friend died. Now, she wasn't a patient of mine, uh, but I did tune in afterwards what happened and found out that there was a timeline convergence that was inappropriate and literally the physical ailments of her alternate self was bleeding into this current reality and caused her to have probably a stroke, heart attack, something. They didn't do an autopsy, but it was something similar. Um, and, and she died like instantly. So that I, I didn't really have a chance to save her or treat her or anything like that. I just found out after the fact. And with these other two folks, um, they also did not converge their timelines appropriately. Both had some sort of physical or emotional or some other way that these timelines were really converging. And so they were both symptomatic. And the one patient that was uh, an active patient, the other one was not, but the, the active patient, we were able to not only um, download the positive morphic field of appropriate timeline convergence, kind of fix the inappropriate ones, um, do some work around the damage to, in this case, the heart uh, from the heart attack. Um, yeah, a couple of people with a heart attack the same week, right? Um, and, um, uh, you know, uh, make sure those boundaries between all timelines are appropriate. And um, she did really, really well. The one person that I did get to work on, she did really, really well. And at the end of a number of just a few weeks, she was able to get off all her medications. Her heart exam was completely normal as if she did not have a heart attack. And that was super cool. But I did learn a lesson that sometimes when God speaks or source speaks, um, I should pay attention and listen. And that uh, there will be times where I will not understand what's going on however i can still do the healing which is really interesting so that whole timeline convergence um, that whole concept uh, became part of a, a protocol or a teaching in my topican level one training program and we're actually going to be addressing this as well uh, in the coming weeks because of the transdimensional alchemy program uh, that i'm uh, launching or have launched through u wealth revolution in fact one of the modules were actually it, we're going to do it live. Um, we're actually going to help people uh, download those uh, pr appropriate blueprints to Timeline Converge and also, you know, pull out any inappropriate ones for them and their family members, um, increase their boundaries between lives and whatever else is necessary, okay, to minimize or get rid of altogether any bleed through of symptoms and issues in other timelines. You know, think about it. It doesn't seem fair, does it? That if your alternate self in another timeline is a potato eating, candy sucking, you know, couch slob, 
Uh, and you are a health fanatic, okay, in this timeline, that you could potentially suffer symptoms of that other lifestyle, especially if it's a parallel timeline. And uh, yeah, it doesn't seem fair at all. Now, some people have asked, why are we timeline converging? Like, is that a bad thing? Is that an evil thing? Should we get rid of that? Well, the answer is no, it's not evil. <laughs> it is part of the ascension process, which I liken to the breadth of the multiverse or the infiniverse, if you will. So it's like, Breathing in, breathing out. We're in an expansion phase at the moment, uh, as of this recording anyway. Um, and so what happens is everything is expanding. Everything's expanding. Now, will it be during our lifetime that things will collapse into nothingness again and all material things will be nothing? I, I don't really know. I mean, it's kind of quantum physics, astrophysics theory, right? But all I know is at the moment we are expanding. And through this ascension process and this expansion, all of our timelines can converge into one quote unquote reality. Now, I don't know what that means practically speaking, but what I can tell you symptomatically is what people are experiencing. And because I've done thousands of you know, healing sessions, I've lost count at this point, um, and, and just work with many groups of people, I can see these patterns. I'm a big picture person, so I, I you know, kind of like a spiritual detective, I'm looking for patterns of what's going on. And this has been a pattern. So the timeline convergence is a natural, if you will, phenomenon of our current infiniverse reality. It's part of the ascension process where we expand our consciousness. And that means our consciousness can traverse multiple dimensions simultaneously. Now, when I got initially from source how the timeline convergence should, quote unquote, be that it's safe for the human body, I got that we should be timeline converging dimensionally. Now, the benefits of timeline convergence is that you get to heal all your timelines at once, now, in the now, and that's very exciting. We can do that very quickly, uh, much faster than the past. Remember in the old days, not that long ago, like 30 years, in the old days, you would do past life regression, right? And you'd work on one single past life, and then you would heal the current reality because you healed that one past life. Now we have the capability of healing multiple thousands of other lives, past, present, future, alien lives, human lives, the whole bit simultaneously. That's so exciting, right? So this is part of that expansion process that we're able to do. This isn't, isn't anything special necessarily to me. It's just that we, we have that capability, whether you know or train in how to do that, that's another story. So that's the exciting part. Now, one of my... Um, Topican level one, two practitioner uh, students had said, look, uh, what, like, what does it mean exactly? Like dimensionally, why is it good to timeline converge dimensionally? And, and, and you sort of explained why it isn't good to timeline converge physically, which I don't even know how that works, except it's the wording I think that we're using physically, meaning that the physical stuff from that timeline symptom wise the, the, you know, somebody dying in that timeline is, is bled through to this timeline, which we do not prefer, right? Um, but even emotionally and energetically and spiritually, um, if you've got entities in that other timeline, do you really want to suffer the entities in this timeline? Not really, right? So um, why is dimensionally safer? So I did ponder that question today. And thanks to Marcus Bird, my mentor, and I'm taking the Activator Healer program with him. Uh, it is that the languaging is, is so much more understandable to me right now, so much more comprehensible. Um, basically, when you timeline converge appropriately, and that means dimensionally, that means that you stay stable in time and space through the convergence. If you um, if you timeline converge in the other ways, non-dimensionally, okay, you run the risk of not being stable in space and time, and that can cause all sorts of problems, including really feeling and getting sick. And, and in fact, I believe, and I think it, you know, Marcus does as well, that the grand majority of, of ascension symptoms, you know, that people talk about is about the dimensional, uh, you know, that space time, that the, that the body, that the person is not staying stable in time and space. And that could cause all sorts of mental illness, physical illnesses, you know, energetic illnesses, all sorts of things. 
So we can heal multiple timelines simultaneously. That's a really cool thing. And it's not a big deal that timelines have converged, but, they, but you really want to do it dimensionally, right? So in the transdimensional program, we're going to go step by step in this. Now in package A, uh, you know, it's kind of like do it yourself. I'll give you all the instructions and the handouts in the video, like how to do that, do it for yourself. Uh, package B, which is just like, you know, 50 bucks more. Um, I get to do it for you, with you, and for your entire family if they so choose and if they want. And um, that uh, started uh, yesterday, which is Friday, um, the 3rd, I believe. Was the third yesterday? Yeah. So the third uh, was module one, uh, but the one we're talking about right now, the timeline convergence is actually module three. So in case you're like, oh my gosh, I missed it and I wanted to do it live, don't worry. You can still get on uh, and, um, you know, catch up. Uh, and although you weren't in the live on Friday, yesterday, guess what? If you include yourself in the Transdimensional League Program uh, Package B right now, guess what? The way the ascension works right now is that there there really isn't time anyway. So you will be have you and your healing will have been included in the first module, even if you weren't there. Kind of weird how time works, right? But the source tells me, and I'm learned to trust source now, <laughs> that that's that's the way it can work. So if you want to join us late, it's completely fine. You will still get benefit from module one, even though you weren't actually there live but the minute you hear it the minute you see it right that the replay the recordings you know, all that kind of stuff then you know that energy will be able to when you're receptive you know uh when you're watching etc will be able to um, help you and uh, support yourself healing so this week's topican healing activation is uh, associated with some of those protocols we're going to be doing in that module and it's around healthy boundaries between multiverse lives okay so we're gonna we're gonna restore and reboot these boundaries for you now i'm just going to do a quick muscle test on everybody who is a sensitive soul who i consider a sensitive soul in my tribe and that includes you who are subscribed hopefully uh subscribe to my youtube channel here so let me take a quick check what percentage of people do not have 100 percent healthy boundaries between all of their multiverse lives okay so a quarter of the people in my tribe do not have absolutely 100% healthy boundaries. And I'm, you know, obviously these are not physical boundaries like a fence, right? Like if we're talking about metaphysical boundaries, um, they don't have 100% healthy boundaries and all the different boundaries there are between their multiverse lives. So that could cause bre uh, ble bleed through symptoms from your other timelines. Now, what I encourage you to do is definitely, you know, get on that transdimensional alchemy uh, program so you know how to download the, the positive morphic field and the blueprints and, you know, do this for yourself. Um, if you're like, ah, oh, you know, I can't make it or, or for whatever reason want to just learn this little piece of the transdimensional alchemy program, which is a, a bigger bit, um, it's also in my evolutionary healer book. So, um, so my chapter in this book kind of goes step by step in terms of, you know, how you can download the blueprint um, and uh, uh, help your boundaries and, you know, decrease bleed through symptoms, you know, on your own. OK, uh, this is like a, a half of one of the modules that we're doing in Transdimensional Alchemy. Uh, but if you have that book, you can look it up right now and do it. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is the piece around those boundaries. So if you'd like to receive this Topican Healing Activation, just make the intention to receive. If you'd like to, and it's safe for you to do that, you can close your eyes. You can get into the stillness space, which amplifies the effect of this. How I teach that is stillness through observing internal movement. And that means, you know, if you're new to my channel um, we teach people to rub their hands together or shake their hands or stamp their feet to get the energy moving then close your eyes and then feel the energy running in your body just notice feel it without any sort of judgment just let it be there even if there's a place you don't feel energy that is completely fine so just keep observing that while we do the activation here we go and now command that all boundaries of all types between all your lives be restored and rebooted to 100% sovereignty now and in the future in the highest and best way, all directions of time with ease, speed, and grace. Thank you. Okay, so I just want you to notice what it feels like in your body now. For me, I've noticed kind of an amplification of movement of energy in my body as that comes through now. I already have 100% healthy boundaries, but for me, it's kind of like a, you know, Kind of like a little boost. <laughs> um, so I would love for you to let me know what that activation felt like in your body. So if you can, 
please comment below the video. Um, and also, if you are not subscribed to my uh, video, go ahead and videos, go ahead and hit subscribe and maybe like uh, on YouTube or whatever platform you are watching this in. And feel free to share with anyone who you think might be going through some bleed through uh, if they are highly sensitive. And the chances are a lot of people are if you're highly sensitive. So love to hear from you. Please post below and remember to subscribe if you haven't done already. And love for you to join me in the Transdimensional Alchemy program. I'll put the links below this video. A couple of other announcements for this week on Monday's Light Warrior radio show. I have the great pleasure of uh, my guest, Dr. Dennis Loebstein. The first Monday of the month is always the Ask the LifeWave Doctors show. And in that podcast, what we're going to do is take questions from you, uh, live callers, about whatever symptom you're going through and help you with what uh, Chinese uh, medicine meridians, acupuncture points, what life wave phototherapy patches can be helpful to mitigate those symptoms and make a change so your body can heal itself better. And uh, so it is first come, first serve as far as the questions um, in the um, uh, uh, if you're part of my mailing list, you'll see that there is a link to the event page. And if you want to get first dibs, what I highly recommend is that on the event page under the discussion, that you post your question there. Now remember, keep the questions relative to symptoms. We don't uh, cure, treat, prevent, or even you know mitigate any disease. We can't claim those kinds of things, right? Especially not in the US. So please make sure you put it in terms of the symptoms of whatever it is you're dealing with. And we will share with you our perspective, Dr. Dennis and I, of what LifeWave patches to use, where to put them, and how to get the best. Uh, results out of them. So a couple other announcements. Uh, I did a healthy habits, healthy life video on Sunday around Faraday protection and some of the Faraday uh, bags that I use and that may be of interest to you. So check out the link below this video to check out that uh, weekly video series. And also I had a really amazing, cool time with John White on the Sama Talks. Um, they are a podcast and we're talking all about sensitivity as your superpower. So answering questions like, you know, are women more sensitive than men? And, you know, can you really turn your sensitivity into a superpower? Like if you could do weather magic, what else can you do with healing? Is that useful? Um, things like, you know, why is saying no and not being codependent? Uh, how does that support our superpowers? And what happens when you take medications? Does that suppress your superpowers? So I kind of answer those questions on this podcast. Super, super sweet guy. So check that that out. I'll put that link below this video as well. And then um, there is a mini healing coming up the first Tuesday of every month, currently at 11 a.m. So we are uh, soon going to be moving everyone in our community into the light medicine community on Circle. That's an app, and we built our own community there. So in the future, the monthly mini healings will be there. But for now, we're still doing Zoom. So if you have not registered for the monthly mini healings and would like to receive free every month some healing energies um, and put in you know your qu requests for healing, go ahead and click the link below this video to register for those. And we will email you the day of the Zoom links and everything like that that you can participate. And speaking of the Light Medicine Community on Circle, we have started our migration of the student portals uh, for the Academy of Light Medicine. So students currently registered in Topican Level 1 training, the full training program, uh, Topican Level 2 training, and Light Warrior Revolution are currently being moved from their teachable portal to the Kajabi portal. It's a brand new portal. I've put uh, The whole team has put a lot of work into this, making it look nice and, and usable. Uh, you'll have invites and links there right into that new circle um, community where you will have a special space for whatever it is that you purchased. So if you are Topican level one, level two, or Light Warrior Revolution active member, look in your email because this past week we have sent you emails um, to make sure that you get migrated properly, you get to the right links, you get your login. And if for whatever reason uh, you can't find them, <laughs> you're not sure, you can always email Leslie at support at karencan.com and we'll, we'll figure things out for you. Uh, in the near future, we will be migrating the other memberships as well that are currently housed in Kartra. 
So that means the uh, the uh, autoimmune healing secrets program, the divine design training, light warrior boot camp, light warrior advanced healing program, uh, sense of soul SOS, all those will uh, be migrated over fairly soon. So just keep your eye on your inbox if you are a student of mine uh, for all those instructions. And I am so looking forward to connecting with you in the light medicine community. We just found out in this, this new community app that we, we bought and, and um, uh, that we uh, are building that we can now live stream straight into the community. That's one thing that I really missed in you know our old light medicine communities that I, I couldn't live stream in there very easily. This way I can live stream into any of the spaces, any of the groups, um, and soon you know we'll just have this beautiful place where we can all be together and it'll be private and you know it'll be you know sensor ship free and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, so check it out if you are in those classes. Keep an eye on your inbox and uh, always if you have a question, just email support at karencan.com. So I hope to see you in the Transdimensional Alchemy program in Package B. If you are in Package A and you go, oh my gosh, I want to do Package B, I will do the upgrade link below as well. Um, if, if you are, sorry, not below, if you are uh, in the um, email list, um, you know, we'll have you, uh, you know, click that link as well. And uh, we have spreadsheets for everybody so we know, you know, who's got what. Uh, so I hope to see you and have a wonderful rest of your weekend and happy June. Bye for now.